Sunday night, about two o'clock. How say I? Happy to go through. Now, Miss Sanabon Miruging. Now, all the time are side here. Lightning all get her. Now, Miruging, all the way called come inside finish. Now, all my men sleep inside to India. But the way come finish, now you get up. That's a lot of love out. I'll say all the bands and finish and all the stuff. Now, all the time cooking house now. At long, you're safe. You're safe. Now, plenty, all the day. Me eat. Me put my blanket, 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 blanket. Me carry my blanket. Now, I'm just gonna stop now. Blanket, I'm fine now. I'm cooking me now. Me just have life, blanket, I'm cooking this. Me go away, me stop away. Me not think this life. Life, I'm cooking this. One, this is not two. This is talking about this is talking about thirty for human lives, and uh, it is not only men, but it includes uh, women and children. And they actually said that it was a they said it was a bomb. We see that it is an grenade. This is the most or the still man in the Kamabuna or the Dusher of Evil or Night, Big Night. This is now Flandy Lanning being in dialogue with Slav, Monkey at two. Maka itu yang payah lalu dislap. Em kurus tu em payah ini sahij. Tahun sore em kisah materi sini pelakat ini em kerma apa nama baju siap. Juga tahun sore sila pelakat ini materi itu payah kisah. Em lig lig mana kita kote itu alih bima em turun mai gohar sahij. Okay, Miss Libluya, that's all Mikira become Miss Anap, Gun, all the more same. Put him to here. Now, all the big more same, sorry, meeting him, Miss Living Dive in Slovenia, meeting him, son, meeting him more same, or a toast. Me look him look mouse blow five years, sorry, toast here. Oh, sorry, God. Me go in the low brewer. Me talk all the same time. Tosi ya ikut dah nol katanya ya ikut sim, okay? Mi subi mad lo here, mi ikut sim, mi funda, mi ikut sim, mi ikut dah nol katanya belum mi, mi ikut. Nam mi ikut setiap lo apa fikir ni belum mi harus subi mula. Entah sor, mi megin lo. Yeah, tu pada mau fikir ni yang entah lo here ya, mi setiap lo here. Mi Arem di selat Bajaj belakang mikir. Kiliman, Kilimpik, Kagaru, Kadim Panana, Kadim Diway, Lebron Barret, Kilina Bogeda, kamu di sana tak kamu ab. Ino na wala sami bay olusi. Di selat Bajaj belakang wala mah belas lo faide, saya bukan mau bolos. It's a big blood, something good he can't bear him, sitting on the people, yeah? We call it tribal fight, but for me, uh, for me, it's like small-scale war. It has the same damage to the area as, as any war in any other countries. They burn the house, the first thing, and then the second thing, they chop all the trees, the bananas, the food gardens. They cash crop plants like coffee, bananas, everything. They destroy water supplies, even they burn down schools, they burn down churches, even the clinics. When they engage in battle and they said that shooting guns out and uh, people dying, they aim for total destruction. Anything that they can destroy, total destruction is their aim. Obviously, there's a you know, big loss of life, 
Um, there's a lot of uh, properties that are damaged. Um, there's displacement of hundreds to thousands of people from the villages that are at conflict uh, or the tribes that are at conflict. It has a major impact on, um, on communities up in the islands. I think one of the big factors in modern day PNG is there is a push for access to more resources, especially up in the highlands where the bulk of PNG's 8 million people live. When you have uh, millions of Papua New Guineans living in one part of PNG, having less access to land, less access to agricultural land, less access to, to water. These are triggers for, for conflict. People would resort to tribal fighting as a way of ending a conflict or grievance between individuals or between groups. And usually after fighting, people will resort to establishing some kind of peace. The common expression is you pay compensation. Compensation is a ceremony. It's a way of exchanging things just to reestablish the good relationship. After peace, like it's two, three year peace, a fight flares up, it goes back again. So if you observe the whole event, the social activity of this community for about 20 years, two decades or three, you will find that it can be interpreted as a cycle. People just go around, peace, war, peace, war, peace, war. So the scenario now is, when conflict happens, there's no time for communication. There's no talking at all. Conflict happens, extreme violence, confrontation, yeah? And when you think that violence is over, it prolongs. When you have a break in violence, it's because people are waiting for arms supplies, reinforcement, money, someone to recover, something is happening. Then when the opportunity comes, they're striking again. Somebody's getting married here, there, must be everywhere, yeah? So really there's that cycle of violence that keeps on going. When we have bows and arrows, only one dead and then compensation finish. Now, 10, 15, whole tribe nearly down now. And we are losing this generation of young people now in the tribal country, just shooting them. Now they are shooting pastors. Before, they fear shooting the pastors because they preach the word of God. Now they don't care, they shoot pastors. Through the past 15 years, I'm seeing influx of gun is very serious. And if we continue this phase, I think our society will be not the same. We're seriously saying that. The use of uh, guns for, for tribal fighting, for custom work, for intimidation in the highlands is prevalent. In fact, it's out of control. Um, it's a serious concern because um, that's where 80% of the population of Papua New Guinea live up uh, in the highlands. We know for a fact that every tribal fight, guns are used. Every roadblock, guns are used. Every murder, guns are used. And we know that during elections, guns are used to intimidate, to harass, or even to murder uh, opposing people. And uh, we are very, very concerned. Before, all of them used to burn out. The truth is, we got them to so plan it many times over there because I'm using law. Burn out the spear. And now white man come here, all he got him, machine gun, sword gun, pistol, bush knife. All the government, my old car, my fight here. I'm not going through. My plan has been several hella. The first time come this last century because this is a factory, you mean no kind of hella. Most of them only come one and a half million, so all the time this car is gone. Time my partner, I go along, go east up on Bushio, go east up along one location and have, and no one's here, and my partner, no one's here, no one's here. 
Asyik itu nak kuat. Orang mana meri dalam sabar lo meri sin em usah bentai. Nukah suku tu orang nukah golos suku. Because nak ramai juga bayi sabar lo dia. Orang kan orang sem nak roti ekshen nak ada dia. Mula golos ha pol bagi lima mula. Orang kam lo dia em pihin ni meri man. Mula bawa nak kantin tu, mula bawa bawa killing tu so. Kurang sih nombor stop him, em stop, stop, stop dia. Mula sebaya mungkin bawa fight bawa ground, pick dan marry. Fu em, tu pun nombor power pun dia belat dia. So ni ni isu kan time, ni ni pun nombor stop time. So tu pun nombor power pun dia belat stop time, em orang sama dia. So now power pun dia belat, na dia belat grow, now dia belat stop dia. One belat killing. Ino mibla bad, ose na nawe mibla kili mary na kili ni kili na dina mi ose kili dog na. Women children are very 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 badly affected. They have not involved in this sort of fightings. It's not of their doing, but they have been unnecessarily got through a lot of unnecessary pressures and a lot of problems. They have been made to run and go to live in other places where. They're not even used to. Children, they miss out on education. They miss out on good uh, food, good rest in houses. And uh, women have put on a lot of pressure because uh, they have to take care of the kids. Because the men are fighting, they have to feed the kids somehow. Which way they find food, they have to find it. They have to uh, clothe, they have to take care of the little babies. And they've uh, been put under a lot of stress. Some blood time, me blood pain go go step. All man sabi gam na kili mo some blood Mary, some blood man me blood sabi losing ka go. Bilum me blood sabi run away go nambad lumbus. Me blood sabi fred nung gutru. Me blood sabi fred osem all by man by kili me blood. All plan di Mary all sabi rabim. All sabi kili. All sabi kisim some blood Mary go lo bless blood tu. Mi bela sabe, mi all sabe, mi gimana sa. Time fight ini nasta, em bela sabe ista good na. All man merit, ista am good. Tapi all hunger sabe kamu am na. Money tu ini nasta, ista am na. Mi bela sabe lulus law hunger tas. All samdin, all blanket na. All sambla samdin, all kerja samdin. Mi bela lulus, mi bela nukat na. Mi bela sabe ista buah. It's very hard in here. People live with fear when there's a fighting. When there's a fighting, sexual violence, rape increases. Because the enemies are attacking the women when they go back to the garden to look for food. When they go there, the enemies come and attack them, hold them, kidnap them, and rape them. Because enemies, like, they don't care. So they will still, no matter you go, you a woman, or you a small girl, or you a mother, they will still attack you. In the hospital here we see every day uh, victims of tribal fights and um, yeah but depending on the the day sometimes it's just small cuts um, and other days uh, people are being chopped to death that they actually already arrived death in the hospital or sometimes nearly death and they more or less die on the spot and sometimes uh, yeah still savable and then we can actually make a difference we have about a month ago two children one seven the other five and they were just both shots because yeah that's going to be the enemies of the of the upcoming 10 years so uh, it seems to involve everyone we have nurses in the hospital who have nothing to do with the tribal fight but because they live in the middle their houses are being burned down so i think it involves the whole society and uh, older people from young until old when you have tribal warfare in a, in a province or in a certain town 
uh, you will most likely not have a functioning education system and a functioning health system. So it has always, uh, tribal warfare has, always, has also had, a, had an effect on, on delivery of basic government services. There are places where there are no functioning hospitals and schools simply because people are always fighting each other. This facility is under the Imbungu Pahela LG. It saves eight to 9,000 total population. We provide services like minor surgery, admissions, we do outpatients, we do mobile clinics, deliveries, and a lot of services we provided here. This facility has been closed for some time after the fighting. What happened was that uh, during the fighting, the opponent side, they came in directly and they destroyed all the facility here, yeah? the buildings, the equipment, the medicines that we have, even the officer, they changed him so he's out. So we can't really even, I mean, the, as an advisor, I can't even help. A lot has been damaged. I don't have money to even rebuild or put a structure again, or, I mean, do maintenance and all this. So it's helpless now. You see the road condition is very, very terrible for the cars to travel in, buses. So no choice. They need to take a walk, either by, by boost tracking or along the road. In my area, we were warned not to treat the other casualty of both, of both parties because if we do, uh, they'll come after us. If we treat the other uh, the other side, then the, those ones will come again and they will question us, why did you help him? Or why did you help her? Or so on. Because they want uh, the, the other enemy to die. The lives of the health workers working out there, we are in a risk, but I'm not so whether this will continue or this will end. You see in this area, large displacement, uh, destruction of uh, property, private property. Uh, people are losing uh, access to, to the healthcare. Children are losing access to, uh, to, the, to the schools. Uh, they bring, when they, uh, when they flee, they, they've normally been, uh, been hosted by, by, by the relatives or, or, or neighbors. And uh, this brings additional, additional problems to the, to the host families also. Three plus, uh, two plus papa, papa and mama one time, little brother all sleep in his lap, peak, sleep in his land. Now we plus, they didn't come and up again. Now we plus sleep in his house. All cooking mouse time, we plus come and up and come, cause up there. Hey, we plus plenty light sleep, so hey, mouse blow all peak. We plus come sleep, we plus not feel right at all. Travel in a good arm, or some man. I just like something It is unfortunate that a lot of the tribes in modern day PNG do not see you know, uh, the land court, for example, or even the court system you know, um, as an avenue in which they can be uh, able to address some of their grievances over land custody. People don't, don't know where to uh, raise their complaints. They go through the mediation. And when they go to, to mediation at the village level, people take sides. And where people are not happy with the outcome of the, the mediation, they, started, uh, they start taking actions. And, and that's how it starts off. If we continue to live like that for the next five, ten years, we will hear that one clan will wipe another clan with arms. And that will happen. Only we have good law and order system in place in Hela. And then I think the fighting will stop. If we don't have a law and order system in place in Hela, I think then it will. Because now people are don't listen to the police. Police, they are saying, you have gun, I have gun. Who are you? Possession of firearms is widespread. It's quite difficult to deal with it. And it needs a extended sort of operation to retrieve firearms, meaning you have to have enough resources to cover the whole area. We realize that if, uh, if, uh, if there is a conflict and the police does not deal with it, then obviously the person, the victim, tries to retaliate. 
And that's where conflicts escalate because the families get involved and eventually the entire tribes get involved. And so I think the best uh, uh, thing is to have uh, uh, police re supported. If the government uh, does support them well, I don't think it will escalate to an extent uh, that will uh, that will claim lives and cause such massive unwanted destruction. We provide assistance to the direct victims, meaning that we provide, we distribute essential household kits to the affected uh, families. We try to respond as soon as possible because we know that the most difficult period is, is right after displacements. Then we try to rehabilitate the healthcare facilities that have been damaged during the tribal fight. And we also support uh, National Society, PNG Red Cross uh, National Society, by providing technical support, trainings, and also sometimes funds when they, they respond to the, to the tribal fights. And uh, we do also rehabilitation of infrastructure, damaged infrastructure during a tribal fight, like water supply, sanitation. We also have a very useful tool called the Drama Show, which is performed by the professional actors. They uh, imitate the situation which provokes the conflict. They do it in front of a big audience, sometimes we do it at the marketplace, and then we, at a certain point, we stop and we ask people, so what, what is wrong in here? And then people are quite actively involved in this. It makes, uh, it makes people understand that sometimes one simple, uh, one simple step may, may, prevent, uh, may prevent a big fight to happen, and it may prevent hundreds of people displaced and uh, hundreds of houses uh, destroy, destroyed. And it's a very easy way to understand and to pass our message, not to target women and children, not to target civil infrastructure, the healthcare facilities and schools. Before I started the last time, I had to cut it, 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 I had to cut it. Now I had to cut it. I was in 10 years old, I was in 10 years old. I was in 10 years old, I was in 10 years old. 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 I was in 10 years old have roles they are playing, but they are all isolated. It's not being coordinated. The health people can do trauma healing. The police can do their job. Education do, can, education divisions, the schools can do peace education. The pastors can preach about peace. So many other things can be done. If all of this can be coordinated, hell can change. I think it's very important to, uh, to provide good support to the educational sector. Peacemakers, different different programs, different tools, different structures that that will help people to find ways without fighting uh, to to solve the problem without fighting without without the war. As I travel, stuff yet so. Me no not go out now make walking mouse or walking garden or making one last something area. Me but stuff we go now. Be an. Tupla birua boom na sikano, one bello, dislagan mimpanik. 